Hi everyone, it's Erica at Moonlight Book Reviews, and it's time for In My Mailbox. The song I'm listening to this week is Safe and Sound by the Civil Wars and Taylor Swift, and it's on the new Hunger Games trilogy CD. Okay. I got a lot of books this, this week and some more exciting news to share. The exciting news to share is that I bought my plane tickets for BEA and I signed up so that I'm flying with Terza at Compelled to Read there. And I'm so excited because it's like real now and yay! So I'll be there this year again, guys. So for review, I got Dating the Undead by Gina Showalter and Jill Monroe. It's set up as kind of as a um, magazine for um, girls, kind of like Seventeen or um, uh, L would be, but it has more of a immortal feel. So, um, manscaping your way, your manly immortal stuff like that, or I have some other kind of just hot guy picks in here, kind of. Let me find them. So if you want to date a dragon, it gives you advice. Or if you want to date a werewolf. Or, let's see what else we got here. A zombie. Or an angel. We have some more yet. Demon. And, I don't know, that's, that's an ad. But, see what I mean? They have some really funny things in here. Um, some of their things are Recover Girl instead of Cover Girl to hide those fang marks. So I'm really excited to go through that some more. I've gone through it already, but I'm going to go through it again to get some more stuff. The next book I got is um, Book 2 in the Watcher Trilogy, Legions by Chris Bolton. This is the old cover. The covers have been redone and they're gorgeous. Um... I think you can find them on my blog, but otherwise, if you go to Goodreads, all the covers have been changed. So, the first one's The Awakening, and you can find that review on my blog. So, I cannot wait to read this one, because Carice just kind of gave us this huge cliffhanger on the end of the last one, and I'm dying here. The second book I got for review on a tour I'm doing is Collision by Stephanie Miller. This one, I'm just going to read. Cap Capstone has it all. Fame, fortune, and the adoration of millions of women across the globe. When the constant attention from fans and expectations from his handlers becomes too much, he escapes the craziness of press, junkets, and movie sets and escapes to Asheville, North Carolina to hide away for the summer. He expects peace, quiet, and solitude. What he doesn't expect is to meet a fiery redhead who changes everything he knows about the world. The daughter of missionaries, Kai... Sally lives a life of service to others. She has little expects less and helps heal the hearts of thousands in Uganda where she grew up. When she finds herself staying in the same guest house as Capstone, she vows to ignore his Greek god looks and spend the summer as she had planned, in peace, quiet, and solitude. Cap and Kai's lives couldn't be more different or more the same. Despite or perhaps because of their vastly different yet startlingly similar backgrounds, Cab and Kai strike up an unlikely friendship that could possibly blossom into something more, but Kai fears that the truth about her her past will prevent pretty boy Cab, who is used to getting everything he wants, from fully committing to her. So, super excited. Love the cover. Next book. I, oh yeah. Okay, next book is The Reckoning by Willie St. Crow. It's one, two, three, four. It's book five of the Strange Angels series, and as the back says, this is it. This is the last one. And the front says, Drew's not going down without a fight. Um, I adore this series. There's nothing, no series I can compare to this one. Uh, Drew is one of my favorite characters ever, and I am really sad at its ending, because, and that is why I haven't picked up this book earlier, because I don't want it to end. I just want it to keep going. I highly approved of what Drew did to Kristoff in Defiance, and I cannot wait to see if she kind of fully commits to what she did in Reckoning. So, here we go. Last book. Um, I got Angel Burn last at BA. They sent it to me. 
to review by L.A. Weatherly, and I like it so much that I bought Angel Fire, the next one, for myself. It's by L.A. Weatherly. Um, it's really pretty. Lots of kind of embossing in it. And the cool thing I noticed is I've never seen a book with kind of, with a white cover, a stark white cover. So I thought that was nifty, because I've never seen one like that, which is odd. That I don't know why I haven't seen one like that before. Um, book one is about... Alex, and he's hot, and he is an assassin, and there's a half-angel, and he's supposed to kill her, but he something stops him from doing that, and you kind of learn more about secret societies, and that angels really aren't a good thing, is what we've kind of been, kind of, we've been made to think our whole lives from an early age, and I found from the book that it scared me so much, Angel Burns scared me so much about angels, and I don't trust angels as much anymore. I used to think, oh, angels great, but now I'm thinking, oh, what if they're not so great? So, and that one gave me some interesting nightmares for a few nights, and I loved it. So I cannot wait to read this one. This one's much larger than the last one, I believe, which I'm excited about, because last one, while it had a nice ending, I really still wanted more because I thought the writing was done very well. So that's what I got this week, and I'm excited for next week so you guys can see what I have in store for you. There's also a giveaway going on at my blog, so go check that out. It's for Cage Moon, and I will see you guys all later.